Welcome to a tour of the Boom Learning Library. The library is where you manage the decks you've purchased. Use the action drop down to choose what you want to do with the deck. Choose a sign to assign a deck to a classroom that you created in the classes tab. Choose fast pin if you want to assign a deck for which you don't need to keep student records. You can give the students the pin if they log in at boom.cards or an app, or you can give them the full URL. Here, I'm going to paste in that fast pin, and you can see that when I do that, it takes the student directly into play of the deck. If I want to assign with a link, but get student data, I'll use the hyperplay link. Here I'm copying the link, and I'm going to assign it for demonstration purposes from a Google Classroom. But you can use this link from any tool that allows you to assign with a link, such as an LMS system like Canvas or PowerSchool or Blackboard, or even a Google document, a HyperDoc, a Word document, a website you keep for your class assignments, any place like that. You just need to create your assignment as the system sets up and paste in that hyperplay link. Now when your students click the link, it will take them directly to sign in. They will need to know their username and their password. They'll enter those and it will get them started playing. And when they finish, it will save their results and deliver those back to you in your Reports Dashboard. From the library, I can also choose the action, Print. This will generate a printable version of the cards I've purchased. For the most part, we recommend that you play Boom cards digitally, but every now and then you'll have a situation where you need a printed version, and this will allow you to print a version for the student to interact with. Next, let's look at the action, Custom Play Settings. Here, you can set the number of cards per play lower if you have a student who fatigues easily or needs to work at a slower pace. If you want to use a deck as a quiz, you'll want to turn off Show Answer if Surrender and turn off Allow Multiple Plays. This requires the student to finish the deck in a single play. The next action of interest is View Report. This produces a report by deck. It will show you how students performed on individual cards. You can see at a glance how your class did on specific concepts, whether some of them are still guessing or whether they're all getting it now. There are two views. The second view for a deck is a report by student summarizing the time they spent, their status, and how well they did. This report can be sorted by clicking on the titles. You can also reset data for the students here and in a few other places. There are a few more actions you can take. You can rate a deck, and if you need to, you can contact the author. Let them know that you loved it, or let them know if there's a little something they need to fix. Finally, if you really need to, there's a final action there called delete. If you choose delete, you will have to rebuy the deck if you follow through, so choose wisely. One other important thing you can do in the library is you can organize your decks. Use the folder tools to create subject, student, time of day, or other folders that work for you. Once you've organized decks into folders, you can click on those folders and assign from them. Also in the library, you'll see if you have any assignments that require human scoring. Go ahead and click the button. It'll take you to a list of items that need to be scored. 
choose the drop down and it will show you the specific cards that need to be scored and a scoring rubric. It will also sometimes give you information on how to score the items, what the correct answer would be or what a model answer should look like. Here I have two that I am scoring by hand. One has only one card that needs scored, the other has two scores. Thank you for learning how to use the Boom Library.